to set my dog on his cat. Oh, won't be able to do it. What, your, your gay dog comes around to see my cat? <laughs> Get his bloody head kicked in. <laughs> Jeremy visits a hospital and a nurse's top falls off. <laughs> <laughs> in Jeremy's mind. Let's never go on a trip with two old men. Yeah, never go on a trip anywhere with someone who believes the whole world should be like Birmingham. <laughs> Maybe, actually, it suddenly dawned upon me that he isn't very bright. I think he could be a massive idiot. It's partly because my face isn't as flabby as yours. Not like very much, it's just a little piece of perspex, but that is enough to stop people ending up looking like you. <laughs> <laughs> what is Helsinki syndrome then, is it? I think it's when you're a bit of an idiot and you get your syndromes mixed up. Yeah, I've got it. Anyway, look, putting aside Jeremy's ideas of pimp my stovepipe hat, <laughs> um, <laughs> of a new ignition coil for your Mercedes. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred! <laughs> Thank you. I keep my hair. In the United States of America, land of the free, there's a big fence, the other side of it, everybody hates you. What a numpty. To make the tune go backwards, you can still drive the car forwards. Yeah. It's funny, I was driving down the A40 just after you the other day, and the headline was quite brief. It said, Clarkson has massive accident. <laughs> I was once in a pub and a man came up to me and he said, do you want a smack in the mouth? And I said, no, because you can't say no. He looks like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, well, he is an idiot. So surely it's supposed to be, well, it's A, a electric and B, not for invading France. Of tapping the energy in the fuel. I don't understand so this, how it works. I can't dumb it down to your level because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> That's the problem. You would say that because you're an American. Harley Davidson, you've got a Mustang, you'd like to get a beer and you put cheese on everything. I, I don't... <laughs> Children, you do know that, don't you? This is like indulging a six-year-old child who's learned a simple card trick. I've been testing cards 25 years. 80. Ago. Yeah, 80 <laughs> years. Ago. It's the emblem of this car. I'm going to crash into you trying to get a closer look at your novelty item. <laughs> the oldest people in the world. You're aware. <laughs> yeah, but Hammond, we can't all be 36 forever, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Hammond, the back of your car lights up with a stupid viper when you brake. <laughs> James, why aren't we running the country? Why are we presenting this programme with Noel Coward? <laughs> <laughs> Can I direct you to your jacket? What? Before you say I'm locked in 1953, Mr Toad. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? No, but that's the model name. And LaFerrari means the Ferrari, so that's the Ferrari, the Ferrari. <laughs> G-Mercs are brilliant. Yes, there are a couple of massive problems with this. Well, firstly, it reminds me of you. What's <laughs> new about that? Not a lot, really. Apart from the price. It's now £2.3 million. Pounds. What? Who put, what, for a second-hand car? <laughs> well, yeah. That's what it is. Cyclists. Give them an inch, because they've given you a mile. An inch? They need six feet! No, Hammer, it's a figure of speech, you idiot. Oh, we have a tradition. Oh, no. How am I going to do it without them?